Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. Just a quick video regarding the wind effect on the slipstream, so a little bit more science for the channel, but with update 1.06 they did add a kind of wind meter to the top right hand part of the screen, just underneath the map, and as I was watching some Gran Turismo 7 related stuff last night, a few things I was kind of noticing quirked my interest and made me think that I need to go and do a little bit of a test about the effect of wind on the slipstream, because they are appearing to be aiming for a little bit more realism in Gran Turismo 7 over GT Sport, and if the wind is going to play a part in the slipstream then it should have a little bit of an effect, and yeah, some interesting results to uh, present to you here. So we're using the Mazda Demio to test this one. I'm just doing a little bit of a test here on the screen to check that my car is the same speed as the AI car. Apologies for using such a slow car for the test, such a boring car, but because of the problem and the bug within the custom race menu, when you set up a custom race, if you try and sort of do a rolling start and change that rolling start distance from anything, it just defaults to 15 meters, which in a race car is far too close. So having to use something fairly slow like the Mazda Demio here. So the first test is with a crosswind. You can see we have a four meters a second crosswind coming in from the left hand side of the car. And this appears to have quite a substantial effect on the slipstream. So as we sort of close up with our uh, AI car here, pull out from the slipstream, by the time we actually manage to get alongside the AI car and sort of start to make that move, we have hit the 2000 meter board. So that is for a crosswind. Let's see how that compares now to a tailwind and then a headwind. So a tailwind, you would expect the slipstream effect would be a little bit stronger than a crosswind because you have the effect of the tailwind on your car pushing you along but don't forget the car in front also has that effect of the tailwind as well but as you get closer to that car that car should lose the effect of the tailwind and you should kind of as you get closer feel the effect of the slipstream a little bit more so with a crosswind it was 2000 meters before we were able to get alongside our other Mazda Demio and with a tailwind as we start to pull alongside, it's going to be around about 1800 metres is the mark. So just about alongside now, right on the 1800 metre mark. So with a tailwind, the slipstream is boosted a little bit compared to a crosswind. And moving on to a headwind, and this is where you'd expect the slipstream to be at its most effective. The car in front is punching a hole in the air for you in the slipstream, but also having to contend with that tail, uh, sorry, that headwind as well. You've got the benefit of the big pocket of air behind the car and also no headwind whatsoever. So you would expect the headwind to be the most effective and you can see already how quickly the car is closing up to the other car there. And as we pull alongside, we are going to be around about 1300 meters. So 700 meters less than with the crosswind and 500 meters less than with the tailwind. So, so the wind is playing a massive part on how the slipstream works and of course, this test is not exhaustive because obviously the strength of that wind is going to affect the slipstream even more. Uh, so I actually did a test where we had a very, very, very strong crosswind and it practically negated the effect of the slipstream altogether. But I'll leave the results there up on the screen. I've got the Mazda RX Vision going around at Daytona because it has been revealed that this is going to be this week's Daily Race C. Uh, for Gran Turismo 7 and Slipstream is going to play a big part in that. So I wanted to get this video out just so you could have that information in your locker for when this race goes live tomorrow morning. But thank you very much for watching up till this point. If you have, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye now.